time to lose my way A lifetime of yesterday What's going on everyone? Um, hold on one second. Get my giant shirt in here. There we go. Um, so yesterday I videotaped all the food I consumed. Uh, I'll have all the macronutrients, all the calories and everything for you guys. Pretty much straightforward day. I didn't really have much of a variety uh, today. But for those of you that wonder, you know, what I eat during the day or how many calories I'm consuming and stuff like that, here's a video for you guys. All right. Enjoy. All right, guys. Meal number one. Um, eggs and oatmeal are my go-to every morning pretty much. Also, I do a scoop of whey protein right in the morning when I wake up before I go to the gym and do my morning cardio. So I already did that, just got home from my cardio, and now I'm going to make breakfast. Meal number one, just regular eggs. I do six egg whites. On higher fat days, I'll do two whole eggs and four egg whites. Um, the yellow part of the egg is actually a good source of fat and has a lot of good vitamins in it. Just regular old-fashioned oatmeal, good carb source for the mornings. That's I do um, oatmeal in the morning about 90% of the time. I have some 2% um, shredded cheese. This is Mexican blend. They were actually out of. I normally use the cheddar. Zoom in on that. That's a cheddar. Um, this adds a little bit of fat to it. So normally, if I'm doing six egg whites, I can do a serving of the cheese. If I'm doing two whole eggs and four egg whites, then I will hold off on the cheese. And I like to substitute this. It's popcorn seasoning. This one's the nacho cheddar seasoning. There's actually nothing in this, just a little bit of sodium, and it gives it a good cheese flavor. I think there's two calories per serving. Yep, two calories per serving. Um, and just a little bit of sodium, so I use that on my eggs if I'm not doing cheese. That's actually what I'm going to do today. I'm going to do six egg whites and um, this seasoning instead of the cheese. Water. Always have to be drinking water. Need at least a gallon a day. Um, water is easy for me to drink. I I love it. I'll drink it with crystal light. I'll drink it plain. I I drink throughout the day, so... Water is no problem for me. I normally drink a gallon to two gallons a day. This is a half a gallon. I use a Diet Snapple bottle and um, use Crystal Light. So. All right, so I'm going to get cooking, and then I'll show you what this looks like when it's done. All right, guys, I just finished cooking. I should have took a video of what time it was when I started, but it's 8.38 right now. I started about 8.31. This took about seven minutes to make. Um, the oatmeal was done five minutes in the microwave. While that was cooking, I made my eggs. I got the eggs, six egg whites with the cheddar popcorn seasoning. There that is again. This also comes in white cheddar and butter flavored. It's great on popcorn and vegetables. I love the, uh, I have the white cheddar I put on my broccoli and it's, it's awesome. Oatmeal, there's the supplements I take in the morning, multivitamin, just a standard multivitamin. This one is pretty good. I got the fish oils. And I take a aspirin a day for my heart because people tell me I should. There's my water in my Giants glass, of course. Um, there's some powder down there on the bottom. That's my creatine. I poured it out of the bottle into a glass just so I could get all my creatine in once. Normally, I just drink my water right out of the bottle. Okay, little trick with the oatmeal. A lot of people don't like oatmeal. And everybody who tells me... I don't like oatmeal, I ask them if they like chocolate. Because if you like chocolate, unsweetened cocoa powder and a zero calorie sweetener in your oatmeal is delicious. I'm going to do that real quick because I'm not multitasking and trying to hold this camera and do that at once because it's going to look ridiculous, so I'll be back in a minute. All right, you can see the cocoa powder and the sweetener in there, and I'm just going to mix this all together. All right, I just finished mixing everything together. And now, basically, what you have is a dark chocolate. They have this in regular chocolate, too. I tried the dark chocolate this time. Dark chocolate oatmeal, and it's going to taste sweet because we put sweetener in it. 
Um, and this is really great if you don't like oatmeal, but you like chocolate, because this is just going to taste like spoonfuls of chocolate, really. Um, and that's it for meal one, alright? So I'll see you guys for meal two. Hey guys, getting ready to make meal number two right now. Um, it's been about two hours and 15 minutes since I last ate, so uh, I'm pretty hungry today. Um, this meal, meal two, normally is either whole foods, which I'm going to do today because I'm hungry, or just a whey protein shake. Um, I'm pretty hungry today, so I'm going to eat whole food. What I got is um, some 45 calorie Sara Lee 100% whole wheat bread. This stuff is awesome. It's only 45 calories a slice, so two slices, 90 calories. And I can't get that to zoom in, but there's one gram of fat, um, six grams of protein, 19 carbohydrates, and five grams of fiber in two slices. So two slices, you're only getting 19 carbs compared to 100% whole wheat bread, which would be, not you can't see the, I'm going to read it to you, one slice is 90 calories, two slices of this is 90 calories, one slice of this is 90 calories, one slice is 17 carbohydrates, two grams of fiber, so there's more fiber in this, um, there's more protein in the light bread also, six grams compared to four. So if you're going for low carbohydrates, lower calories, you get two slices compared to one slice if you're using regular bread. And this stuff really tastes the same. Um, I'm going to do two slices of this with um, second. This is a uh, crock pot chicken I call it. Um, I put the chicken in a crock pot with some hot sauce, pull it apart. Uh, this is a recipe from Campbell Fitness, so I'll link his recipe video to that because this stuff is awesome. And then I have a fat-free cheese slice I'm going to do. Zero fat, three carbs, five grams of protein per slice. So I'm going to make myself a pulled chicken sandwich for my second meal today. So I'll come back and show you that when it's done. Cooking a sandwich. All right, now here's the finished product. Um, that literally took me six minutes to make, if that. Uh, the chicken was already cooked and everything, so I didn't have to worry about that. Um, I got five ounces of chicken on there, two slices of bread, and a slice of cheese. And that's meal number two. Hey guys, meal number three, nothing to this. One scoop of whey protein, about 24 grams of protein, one medium-sized banana. There's probably about 15, maybe 18 carbohydrates in the banana. Uh, leg day, I'm going to go train legs, and then I'm going to come home and eat my post-workout meal. So I'm going to go train, and I'll come home, and I'll videotape my post-workout meal. All right, everyone, I just finished my workout, and I'm uh, getting ready to eat my post-workout meal. Workout went about an hour and 20 minutes today. Um, it hasn't been a full two hours since my pre-workout, but I waste no time getting nutrients in my muscles after a workout. This is the meal that I take the most calories in. I'm going to start my carb source. It's going to be this green giant meal right here. Uh, there's 38 grams of carbs here from mostly cooked long green white rice. And it's this is one of the few meals it's okay to get a uh, big a heavy starch like that, the white rice, because my glycogen is depleted from working out, so this is going to restore all those glycogen levels. Um, so that's going to be my carb source. I'm going to do a serving of this dark chocolate peanut butter with my chocolate whey protein and a serving of almond milk. I'm gonna make a nice peanut butter chocolate shake with that, with this nice blender I have over here. The Ninja Pro, in case you guys are wondering what kind of blender that is. That thing's amazing. If you make a lot of shakes, I definitely recommend it. It's a little pricey, but it's definitely worth the money. I'm also gonna put um, some zero calorie sweetener in there again and some of the dark chocolate on sweetened cocoa to give it a nice chocolate taste. All right, so I'm gonna whip this up and then uh, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, guys, there you go. Meal number four. I got the peanut butter chocolate protein shake and the 
rice and some vegetables and that took me no time at all this thing microwave I think it was like six minutes six and a half minutes and it was done shake in the blender a couple minutes while this was cooking and that's all it took so I'm gonna eat this and then uh, I'll get back to you guys for meal number five all right meal number five this is gonna be my dinner um, I had two percent cheese I'm gonna use I got 90 10 ground beef that's 90 percent lean 10 percent fat beef and broccoli and I'm gonna do about six ounces of the ground beef one serving of the cheese and one serving of the broccoli and I'm just gonna fry it all up in a pan so I'll show you what it looks like when it's done alright guys here's meal number five that's the ground beef the shredded cheese and the broccoli um, as you can see it's not a lot and I'm pretty hungry today so what I have here is a vegetable salad this is romaine lettuce and then it's summer vegetable steamer I made that and I just put it on top and I used this zero calorie Italian dressing tastes awesome um, getting my vegetables in for this meal the protein a little bit of fat from the ground beef this is meal number five and this is my dinner it's uh, 6 30 this is going to be the last meal of the night and uh, I'll show you I have a casein protein that I take before bed and I'll show you that next Meal six, all I do for meal six, 100% casein slow release protein. I take this before I go to sleep at night. It's slow releasing, so it's gonna stay in my stomach and my body's gonna digest this at night while I'm sleeping, use this for fuel instead of attacking my muscle for fuel at night. Um, cottage cheese is also a good source of casein protein and I'll switch on and off between this casein and fat-free cottage cheese before I go to sleep at night. So I'll show you what this looks like when it's done. I put this in a blender with some ice and it comes out like uh, ice cream. Alright guys, here's the finished product. This is my casein protein. I mix it with ice and almond milk and it becomes a almost like an ice cream, like a soft serve kind of ice cream. And this is the vanilla kind and it tastes really good. It's a good treat to have before bed because I have the casein protein in there. And that's it for the day.